Hello, in this video I'll talk about the 2013 Target data breach. The information stolen was 40 million card numbers and 70 million personal records. Now let's begin talking about the breach timeline. It all started in September 2013 when Fazio's mechanical services credentials were stolen. Fazio was a ventilation and air conditioning company that worked for Target. An employee received a phishing email which they clicked on and this brought a Citadel Trojan. This Trojan distributes malware and gives the hackers full power of their system by taking their credentials. Fazio's company had access to Target's external billing system through a vendor portal, which is how the hackers were able to get access to Target's network. So on November 15th, using Fazio's credentials, they moved through Target's network and uploaded a black POS malware on their POS system, which is a point of service system. The black POS malware is designed to be placed on a POS system and it records all the cards that are swiped on the system. The hackers tested the malware on a few POS systems and when this, they found out it worked on November 27th, they sent the malware to most of the POS systems and they began selling card data. On November 30th, the semantic and FireEye alerts go off. FireEye is a malware detection service which Target got around six months prior, but the alerts were ignored and auto functions were turned off. On December 2nd, 2013, hackers retrieved the card information. The numbers were encrypted and moved from the POS devices to storage places that they had control over. Attackers had control over three FTP servers, which is a file transfer protocol server. This server facilitates file transfers on the internet, and they were able to choose backdoors. When information was stolen, it would go to the closest FTP and then to a drop site. And on this day, the fire eye alert system went off again, but it was ignored. And on December 12, 2013, the Department of Justice notified Target of its breach. And finally, on December 15, Target removes the malware from their POS system. The main problem that caused this breach was allowing third parties the ability to access their networks, especially the networks that contain private data. This goes against the payment card industry data security standard which are a set of requirements that all companies that use cards need to follow. Additionally, they did not look into the alerts given by their FireEye security system, and they, they, and they didn't use it efficiently. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at carlae at vt.edu. Thank you.